Hello, hello, hello. I'm the Painted Dog and welcome back to the Hunter Call of the Wild. Now, uh, as you know, since you're watching this video, it's been a couple of months since I've posted anything. Now, there's a good reason for that. Let me just quickly see it. what do I have here. Reload. Two forty-three and uh, if I can remember correctly, it's three, three or eight. But let's just go. What we have now? It's been a couple of months since I've posted anything, but there's a good reason for that. I moved away. I got a new job. I moved away from university. Now I'm in the industry. But I also moved, and not down the street or the next town over. I moved actually two provinces over. Now for our US viewers, that's basically two states over. Not as far, but uh, I now live a thousand and fifty kilometers or something from my previous house. So it was quite something different. And for all the planning and... Because it was a spur of a moment that I got the first job opportunity and I actually wanted to work for this company for quite a while now so uh, I couldn't let it go go past so I accepted it but then all the technical stuff started happening I needed to plan the move and uh, all that and uh, if you're not so familiar in South Africa with our internet service providers we have caps on basically everything so I needed to find something that was uncapped and unshaped because if you don't get unshaped, let's say after 50 gigs of a month, they would start throttling you. I mean, basically, they say it's a soft cap, but mostly in this area that I'm in now, it basically means you don't have any internet access whatsoever. And they call it a soft cap then. But I digress. So I needed to find an internet service provider with uncapped and unshaped and all that. So hopefully, uh, so far, touch wood, so far it's, uh, I'm actually quite happy with my internet service provider now. But I needed to sort all that out and needed to plan the move and I, I couldn't get everything on the first move here. So I needed to go back last weekend to move the last things. And yeah, so I'm quite happy now. But the sad thing is, this now means that I probably won't go hunting in real life this year. That's sad. Because my hunting buddies are now about 1,552 or something kilometers from here. And they live in the really rural parts of South Africa. Now, where I'm living now, I work in a more rural area. But uh, we live now in a you can say a suburb of a, of a major city so our closest airport is about 40 minutes drive from here but for my hunting buddies the closest airport or commercial airport is about six hours drive so yeah that's a bit of a bit of a stretch so i probably won't see them for a couple of months now which is sad but then again when we see each other we're going to be happier we're gonna enjoy ourselves. Hmm, what's that? Post tracks. Oh, that's probably the buffalo that I walked across. I came across earlier. Of course, I jumped into the game and just to play it, and then I thought, you know what? Let's start recording. This is the first time I actually started up this PC again, and I did all the updates and all that in about a month and a half, two months. So uh, yeah, I got that game and I know I'm walking in bad direction and the wind's not in our favor, but it is what it is. Yeah, okay Buffalo. That thing almost trampled me. But let's walk in this direction, let's see if we can find anything. I hope we can find a hole. Warthog. Ooh, speak of a devil. There's a mating call for a water. So I'm going to skirt around and let's see if we can spot it. Mm, 
I don't want to spook it, that's why I'm walking so slowly. And I have to say it's a bit weird recording again. Actually just playing on the PC again. But let's see. So if we have this points where I'm getting I'm really quiet, please forgive me. I'm still getting into this again. Nothing in that clearing that I can see. I tried to skirt around this so I can get the win in a bit more favorable position, but I'm really, really excited now. Not making too much noise. That's a sow's call. And I'm actually trying out a new mouse today because my old one died. It's dead. Dead, dead, dead. And I had that mouse for about seven years now. And then it started giving problems, so I switched to a normal everyday meh mouse. But now I thought, let's get another gaming mouse. I couldn't find the same one that I had because they don't make them anymore. But that's okay, that's okay. Hopefully I'll get some good life out of this one. Hmm, let's see. Hmm, still a bit sensitive, eh? So it will be a bit jerky at times. Because I'm still trying to get used to it. And let's walk around. This is a nice clearing. Let's see. Let's see. Wait. Don't know if that will show up on the recording, but we'll see. I just got kicked off out of this window. But we'll see, we'll see. This isn't really my month of two now. Because I actually have to new use a new recording program or software for this. Because the old one just randomly decided it didn't want to record the in-game sounds. So you will probably have heard a video or two where that happened. But yeah. So uh... Now the problem is, was that my footsteps or was that an animal's? You can see loads of activity up front. You can see there. Let me get out this. Uh, let's go for the smaller one. 243. Yeah. Mm, do -do -do -do. Now for this episode, I'm not going to do any cuts or anything. We just want to walk all the way over there. If we come across something like we did now with a warthog, we will deviate. And if we don't find it, then we'll walk onwards again. And this one... Ah. Uh, I can't. Looks like buffalo prints there and maybe water. These are a lot smaller. Hmm. Feeding area. You know what? Let's walk in that direction now. If we come across the warthogs again, then we can do something about it. But let's walk. Rangefinder again. We're just going for a lovely stroll. You know, ease into this game again. And that's a buffalo. It's still fresh. And I don't have the right rifle here for a buffalo. It's actually... I don't, that's nothing. I thought I heard something behind me. But here in South Africa, some of the farmers and uh, 
outfitted, they won't even let people hunt buffalo with a 375 anymore because they say uh, chances of just wounding it is a lot higher. They would rather suggest a 458 or something like that. I always get people that say you can hunt the elephant with a 22, it's all about shot placement. That's true. But I don't know a lot of people that will stay dead still and aim for perfect shot placement with something charging at them. Especially something like a buffalo or an elephant. Or In Afrikaans we say the stuff that can crap, trap or bite. So scratch, trample or bite you. You always want to go overkill with that. That's my opinion. And loads of people will disagree but that's my opinion. You can't really respawn in real life. Let's just move out of the way. Let's see if we can spot this sow. Okay, I'm out in the open. Come on, show yourself. Come on, make some more sound, please. Ooh, that's a big warthog ball. So let's walk around. Hopefully we don't make too... Okay. Warning call. I don't want to anger this boy. Now what, let's go down. And let's crawl backwards. Just so we can get to a bit of more elevated area. Okay, let's see. Call from this patch over here. Nope. You probably ran away, but I'm not gonna chance it. Let's just walk slowly. It'd actually be I should actually be crawling now. But that's fine, that's fine. We said we wanted to ease into this. Well, we're just behind these reeds. Mm, that's it. Now, there she is. Now do I go for her, or do I try and find the boar? Now what's this try and find the boar? Now know where she is. It's actually two there. Three. Very easy, trivial, nice tasks. Oh, four. You know what? Let's go for him. Since we have a rangefinder, we might as well use it. like the angle I got there. If we can 
and lie down, why not? Come on, turn around again. about Lion King when I heard that. Now we get a warning call from the crew of the beers. Now, bear in mind, let's walk a bit slower. We might be able to uh, find her. Feeding zone for the port hogs. Nah, no, no. I don't think I had a good hit on him. But we'll see, we'll see. Just keeping an eye out for the Luva Labias. Still running. Yeah, small blood speck. <laughs> now I need to search for luck trail but now I'm really tempted with the water of it was right there okay that's uh, done I don't, I'm not interested in that Now I don't really want to go running away because that might still be the same one. Another one that we saw but that warning call. Mm. You know what? Let's just walk and see. I don't see any blood trail. Waiting call. Okay. We might have been shot, but uh, always time for mating, hey? Peek around. Nope. But now I'm walking away from the objective again. I don't really want to do that. My voice isn't used to talking this much anymore. I can feel my throat scratching. see any blood trails anymore. But I'm hearing blue volibears. Come on, show yourselves. That's the thing, they are camouflaged. 
for this area. I can't really tell where that's coming from. You know what? Let's move in that direction. I'm going to loop. I actually just wanted to get there today. Because I can't remember the last time we had the Iloka, but that's. That's what I can remember. footsteps Trivial Trivial Now the difference of boar talks between a boar and a sow. A boar has uh, four warts on its face, and a sow only has two. Couple of sows. I'm surrounded by warthogs. If I can find that ball, that would be great. But I doubt it. wasting ammunition because that was way too high but like I said I'm actually I want to go in that direction hello Finally, I have one. Okay, there's droppings. Let's go and claim this one. Right long, right long. To get an integrity bonus and a consecutive harvest bonus, but uh, I'm not really happy with that one. Let's quickly go and see if there's any. Flesh wound, just now. Yep, I knew that was going to be a flesh wound. But let's quickly run. Let's see if we can spot any more. I should actually change the colors of the tracks we are following versus the other tracks. <laughs> but later on to, to that place. I always want to claim all the animals that I shoot at, but I wouldn't. But then I have to remember this is a game. If I miss anything, that's okay. It's just a game. So let's move in that direction. Because the video is kinda long now. I guess it's about 25 minutes now. And 
you really love your asses off for me. But I can give a blue for beers. So let me uh, walk a bit slower. Yep. That's why they call it a noob noob. Because of a Yep, they're running again because they smell. Because that, that's a problem with it when you follow the campaign. You have a direction that... Oh, droppings. That you have to move in and then, like now, it's totally in the wrong. Wind's not in your favor. And I know I can always go around and come back towards it. I'll do that later, but for now... I'll just do this. Because that was my main objective today, to get from that camp to where we have to go. All these bushes look like uh, animals. But let's go. I have to say my eyes just did a lot more to spot animals in real life than it is in uh, the in-game. Come on, I need to see you. The wind is better now. So we might want to try and uh, approach this one. This pool. We are still not awesome, but uh, it's better. Now this isn't how you hunt in real life, but then again, this is a game. Mm, we're still heading sort of in the direction that we want to, so. Uh, if we spot him, I'm going to take a shot and spend the next hour walking after him, but yeah. you know that's going to happen. I forgot about this perk that I have here in the bottom right, that I can adjust the zeroing. Wish it was that fast in real life. Let's to a zero for 75 meters. In majority of places that I hunted in South Africa, I always zero at 150, 100 to 150. If you're in bush felt, you rarely get a shot over that. Except if it's next to a fence, but then again, I don't really like shooting there. Because where's the animal going to run? It's basically one direction. Back into the bush. Do do do. But uh, yeah. And Just about there. Time for you to refresh. Okay, Jabula. If you don't know this already, I'm a fan of walk and stalk. There are some places that you can't do it. Granted, I understand that. But when possible, I walk and stalk. And now some people will say that's still not fair, fair chase and all that because you have a rifle and all that. But if you hunt, you're hunting the more hunted species in South Africa, are they called Poltong hunters? Poltong species. That's the, the impala, the blue villabias, the warthog, those kinds of animals. It's a bit on the cheaper side. Then uh, they are really skittish. So you can't really, at the middle of a hunting season, you can't uh, really get close to them. But then other animals like the nyalas, the year before, you no, know, it was last year. I actually, me and my guide, we 
when Tracker we walked up to Anyala Eel and I hit her with the palm of my hand on the leg. Actually not the leg, more the rump. Yeah, the rump. So I could actually if I wanted to hunt her, I could have jumped her with a spear or with a knife or anything like that, but uh was it in Paul I would have hurt would have hurt me long before that. And let's walk up here. I might as well walk a bit faster. Ran all the way here and then the last couple of meters I want to walk slowly. Why? Let's get to a resting point. And then we can take it from there. I would never walk through a bush like that in real life if I don't have to. But I did walk crouch like this for more than a kilometer at a time. Walking off the blue villabias. Should be safe to go inside. So let's put this away. Let's quickly see. Some coma. What are those pictures of? A ghost jackal? No, not again. Your brother thinks Gustav found his fungi and it inspired these drawings. But I think we are dealing with something well beyond fungi. A restless spirit who does not want Gustav Baden to journey further along. Okay. Grandchild, are you awake yet? Hello? Hello? Ah, <laughs> there you are. Hope you had a good dream. Now, it's time to get back to work. The other wardens could not find Gustav Baden. But since he decorated that shelter, maybe he is close to you. Can you check on him? Okay, I will. But that will be the next episode. I know this episode was a bit hectic, but it was more of an update what happened and all that. But I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you for the next one. Cheerio.